Hey, what's up guys? Chief Pat here and today bringing you guys a brand new Clash Royale video and today we're going to be pushing for the top 200 on my main account. I know a lot of people have been telling me on Twitter, the comment section, wherever, that uh, it's been a while since I've pushed to the top 200 on my main account. It's sort of been a strike against all the win trading and cheating at the top, which I will talk about in a future video. Uh, because it is an important topic to me, but I thought I would have a little bit of fun, go for some pushing, get back in the top 200. It's been a while since I played on my main account up here, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and use the deck I was using on my Let's Play account. So in case you guys don't follow that series, I switched in the Zap spell for, I believe, maybe the arrows that I was using and saw inside of my Hog Poison deck, and uh, I'm going to actually use that up top. So we've got the Elixir Pump Cannon, Zap, Skeletons, Valkyrie, Hog Rider, Musketeer, as well as the poison you guys will see all those cards sometime soon and uh, this actually has been working out pretty well so i'm going to start off with the valkyrie in the back as it gets a little bit closer i'm actually going to zap those archers the archers are a weird card i didn't really expect those i'm going to play a poison onto those minions because the zap uh, actually, obviously, since I just used it, was a little bit of a problem, and I guess I misplayed my hand a little bit. I probably didn't go for the best trade right there. I got some damage on the right-hand side, but he did end up getting that giant to the tower, as well as the Valkyrie AoE somehow reached me on the bottom right. Uh, so overall, showing a little bit of rust right there, but still, things are okay. I'm actually going to zap again. This is one of the first decks I've used with zap, uh, besides the minor Ice Wizard and Mini Packet deck, as well as Minion Horde deck that I used to play, so still got to get used to the zap inside of this deck, uh, but let's go ahead and keep going. We're doing fine right now. We've taken a little bit too much damage on the bottom left. Let's get ready with our Elixir Pump in the bottom right. Normally, I try to play my Elixir Pump on the side that has uh, more HP because you don't want them using something like a poison spell, a lightning spell, a fireball, or whatever on the side that's already weaker, so that's why I played it on the bottom right. I'm gonna cycle through my skeletons because I don't have a great card to play before getting to my hog rider as well as my poison spell, and notice as soon as he plays uh, that giant, I go for a massive push because obviously the giant being five elixir is, uh, isn't really gonna do anything in the very back, plus it doesn't target units or anything, so he's gonna struggle to defend. We get the tower all the way down to six 168 HP and as long as we can hold off this push we should be pretty decent now the Valkyrie does kill the cannon which means we're gonna have to use our own Valkyrie as well as our musketeer to kill this combo so notice that I don't drop my musketeer where his fireball is going to land my musketeer actually would have died with the AoE of the princess as well so that was a really nice musketeer uh, to save us a little bit of HP but take a look he's gonna drop three musketeers out of nowhere luckily I was quick to react with a poison spell as well as a zap and I'm at least gonna kill uh, two of those musketeers the third one should die in just a moment and now I'm just cycling I know if I defend this bottom left hand tower obviously the game is over let zap uh, almost five units right there with the two archers and three minions I think I missed one of those minions and uh, with the princess only left to shoot at that musketeer he's gonna throw a, uh, he's gonna throw a fireball I'm just gonna drop a valkyrie right on top of that princess we've got a couple of more cards left I can just drop my cannon up front I don't think he has anything in my deck that I really have to worry about so he's gonna throw a well played and uh, we're gonna end up taking a victory so a nice W overall pretty well played uh, I know he's a level 12 but all of his cards were maxed out so pretty fair except for the tower damage which does play a little bit of a part but anyways 27 trophies for the victory I've been winning a lot I actually just started pushing um, again, at least my big push today, I think I started today at like 3400 trophies and then just went for uh, an all-out push I'm actually in Hong Kong right now if you guys didn't know because um, I was traveling throughout Southeast Asia and there's and my laptop broke and long story short I had to go to an Apple store so I ended up in Hong Kong which was the only uh, Apple store even remotely close to where I was it's been a long story but uh, I'm happy to be back and uh, yeah well take a look at this fail right here you can see that that was just a terrible defense to that giant balloon push I really just fudged it right there and I'm gonna lose my tower I got a, I got pretty greedy with that elixir pump and even though his balloons level six it was, still was able to three shot my tower and to pretty much provide no problems so really a fantastic start to the game by me giving up that first tower again pretty rusty on this high level account and the giant balloon pushes I've sort of been messing up my cannon placement because if you guys know the balloon is sort of a rare card uh, to where when you drop it on the very far edge that it 
it gives it um, just a little bit different of a lure range than other cards. Like, you know what, I'm t you see where the Musketeer's at right now, or at least where it was before it's about to die right now. To the right of that, there's that little gap of water, and for the Balloon, you can actually change the lure a little bit, obviously, by dropping it right to the far edge, and it makes a pretty significant difference. So that's, I think, it, I don't think it affected it during this one, but during other battles with Giant Balloon, I've been noticing that my cannons have been a little bit off, um, and it plays a big difference. Obviously, losing a tower wasn't the greatest thing right there. But anyways, I'm going to go for a counter push on the other lane. You can see he's got his princess doing work. And take a look at this skeleton zap combo. I zap both the tower as well as the princess and let my skeletons get one additional hit off. And meanwhile, on the right-hand side, we took out the tower. We made sure to take advantage of that giant that he played uh, by getting that hog rider in there by obviously avoiding that giant. We tied the game up after giving up that free tower in the very beginning. And that sort of was due to my elixir lead. I think I had two two elixir pumps down at one point to his none, and a sort of the same thing right there. I had two down for a brief second when he had zero. And uh, now at this point, I still have an elixir lead. I know that I can go ahead and start doing a push down the left-hand lane. A little sloppy with that elixir play. Needed to make sure that I got that Valkyrie out a little bit earlier, but a massive value with this poison spell right here. And uh, I'm gonna knock out everything in my sight, in his sight. Now, he does have a giant balloon combo coming in. This time, I'm much better prepared to take it out. I've got the Musketeer shooting the balloon. Those minions, even though they are level 13, still able to take those bad boys down. And now at this point, I've got two Valkyries. I've got a poison spell going down. The Hog Rider is about to rush down this tower and to take a look at all of the troops I have going in. He can do almost nothing about it. He drops that elixir pump, trying to cut me off from my hog getting to that tower. I'm gonna zap those minions down as quick as possible, but he knows this game is pretty much over. And uh, even though we played this beginning very sloppily, we're gonna end up getting that two crown, or at least that second crown right here. And he's gonna give it up. He's being good guy, Greg. Good guy, VNC, Quang2, giving me that third crown. Maybe we're gonna get to three seconds, two seconds, a single second left. Wow, we actually ended up getting that third crown. Good guy, VNC Quang2. Shout out to him for giving me that third crown towards the crown chest. 18 trophies, and I am already at the daily limit for my wins. Like I said, I've been playing for a while today. And uh, yeah, that's going to put me at 4,273. So I think the top 200 was 4,290 something. So if we can win this next battle, then hopefully we'll get enough trophies to get to the top. So let's go ahead and play G4 from Genesis. He's only at 4,187, so I might not get exactly what I need. Uh, but starting off, we're going to play the female combo. He's going to play the princess. I'll play the musketeer. Waiting on the princess, I imagine he's probably going to put a tank up front, which is going to be really obnoxious. And of course, as soon as my musketeer gets right Right close enough to that princess, uh, he drops that giant. Fortunately, poison spell is going to knock out pretty much everything, and now he is in big trouble. That free spell was not good. Everything popped due to the poison spell, and I've got a massive push. Even though my Valkyrie and Musketeer are injured, they're still going to do a crazy amount of damage. The Musketeer is going to get one, two, almost three shots off against the tower. The Valkyrie just destroys those goblins, and uh, yeah, things are looking really good. The tower's down to 1,000 HP. I think I have like maybe a three elixir re lead right now if you count the elixir pump that I just played as five elixir so I uh, really no reason I should lose this game unless uh, my hotel Wi-Fi crashes or I disconnect or you know crazier things have happened maybe mom will make hot pockets and walk in the room I don't know let's go ahead and play a Valkyrie in the back and get ready for another push so this princess I feel pretty comfortable in poisoning it's gonna be really obnoxious to deal with uh, because I want to play my Musketeer on the right-hand side, which would be the card that I would use to kill the Princess. But take a look. He's going to go for the giant balloon combo. And uh, this is where I actually play a pretty good balloon. So that balloon was right on the edge of being a little bit dangerous. But you can see much better equipped to take it out. I use the cannon uh, skeletons as well as the Musketeer and the Zap for a total of maybe like 11 el elixir. And uh, I'm able to defend that. He went for, I think, like 12 elixir total because he had the giant balloon plus the goblins. So not too bad. And if you take a look on the right-hand side, he's at 85 HP. I've got two elixir pumps down. And uh, he is pretty much dead in the water as we start finishing up this last minute of battle. So really just a formality at this point. I can check my zap damage to see how much damage my zap does. And uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and drop my poison spell onto this princess again, just getting some free damage on that tower. And at this point, one more push on the right-hand lane. But take a look. This cannon was not as good and the balloon's gonna start running to the tower i'll drop a zap it's gonna miss the balloon the musketeer is gonna do almost nothing so you know at this point 
he's actually going to take that tower. But keep in mind, on the right-hand side, that tower is at 85 HP. I'm not really stressing it. He's going to go for a desperate three-crown attempt, but obviously too little too late as he poisons down my king tower. I'm going to wrap up another three-crown victory, this time against a level 13. A little bit sloppy with the cannon placement, like I told you guys. I need to work on that. Probably just a result of not playing a lot of balloon users on my Chief Pat 2 account, which was the main account that I was playing. Uh, but yeah, lots of wins. It's been pretty fluid to get back up there. I have to find some more meta decks to play, and I'll definitely be sure to show you guys on my channel, but we're back in the top 200. You guys can see plus 999 uh, for 4,295 trophies, and uh, yeah, pretty good stuff being back inside the top 200. Again, the top of the leaderboard is absolutely ruined right now with cheating and win trading, though. Uh, it's really, really a shame, and uh, it really sucks for me and my main account, but uh, I'm going to talk about that in a later video. I'm not going to cover that today. That's a much more important topic, and it does sort of pertain to tournaments as well, seeing as tournaments are like mini leaderboards or sort of like private servers but yeah i'll tell you guys more about that later just wanted to do a little bit of catching up with the top 200 push i'll probably push again tomorrow if you guys enjoyed this video drop a like on it i sound like an auctioneer and uh, yeah until next time i will see you guys later peace out